few friends named Aiman, Fami and Brandon going to conduct a few experiments about diffusivity. So what do you need to know about diffusion is it's actually the first chapter that we're going to learn in our syllabus during our third sem in Unical Mindset. So for your more depth view onto this topic of diffusion, I'm not going to tell you about how this thing going to be and how ma how messy it's going to be. We're just going to show you the experiment, how it's going to, going to be conducted. And we're going to let you know how things will be constructed and fabricated. So, to allow you guys to get a clear review onto this thing, the diffusion, we're going to let you people to see us doing some experiment. The first one, the diffusion of dye into the water, and then the second one, the diffusion of sugar into the water, and the third one, the permeability of the solution. This is all consists and to test the rate, the diffusion rate and the diffusivity of certain solution. Hence, to conclude all that, please enjoy our experiment from now. Thank you. Oh, well imagine as I'm pacing. Uh, I'm back. Uh, okay. uh, we are going to present to you about the diffusion between uh, liquid in different concentration. Okay. Uh, with me, there's uh, some apparatus and material. The apparatus I will use spoon, uh, spoon. Okay, uh, syrup. Uh, two solutions uh, with different concentration, I guess. Yes, and this no, spoon. Okay, stopwatch. Okay, the hypothesis of this experiment is the higher. Concentration different, the higher rate of diffusion. Okay, uh, in this experiment, we just need this uh, this material and okay, the method of this experiment. We just uh, take this dye, put it into the water. Okay, okay, I show you. Okay, one, two, three. In the same time, you must take the time. Okay, time must be stuck. Okay. Okay, as you can see, the the dye just diffuse all completely, diffuse completely in the water. Okay, the time taken just forty five seconds. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay, next we move to the second section. Okay, uh, in this different concentration, uh, with the same method, we just put in the dye, okay, and then the, start, the stopwatch will start. One, two, three. Okay. As you can see, the dye is completely diffused in the water, but the time taken is much longer than the first one. Uh, but the question is, does the hypothesis accept it? Hello, I'm back again for experiment number two, which is the diffusion of solid in water. So the hypothesis will be the bigger the surface area in contact with the solution, the greater the rate of diffusion. So that is why I'm back here to do the experiment, to conduct the experiment and to prove whether or not the hypothesis can be accepted or not. So basically, basically what do we need for the experiment is of course the solid which in our experiment we use this sugar and also sugar so the first sugar is will be the rock sugar which we can see we can use we use in our daily life and that one is icing sugar okay and another thing is of course two empty uh, containers that we need to use during our experiment okay so you can see the two empty container is now filled with hot water 
which is boiling and you can see the vapor is this boiling okay so what do we need to do is basically fill it with water and fill it with the sugar okay so after we fill the water inside the two Tupperware two container so firstly we need a measuring thing to measure the amount of solids or sugar that we need to put inside so first I'm going to do for the uh, rock sugar which is basically this one okay take this thing and uh, okay uh, fill it full and then we I'm sorry pour inside before that make sure you have a stopwatch in this case we use this one okay so when I put this sugar inside this then the time will start immediately so and let's go okay as you can see the sugar is inside and the time has also been started Oops. okay as we can see the what uh, the sugar has completely dissolved in the water and the time taken which is 2.39 2 minutes 39 seconds for the rock sugar to dissolve completely dissolve in the hot water so next we're going to do is for the icing sugar okay you can see icing sugar water and also the measuring thing okay so what we need to do is same as before fill this thing uh, uh, okay make sure it is same measurement as before okay then and as same as before once the sugar is uh, pour inside the time is start immediately. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay, as you can see the sugar is inside and also the time has started. Okay, as you can see the sugar has completely dissolved for the icing sugar and the time taken which is 52.1 52.1 second so this means that the icing sugar dissolves much faster compared to the rock sugar okay okay so as a result you can see this is for the rock sugar this is for the icing sugar okay and also the time taken for both sugar to dissolve is also uh, I stated just now so our hypothesis, may I remind you, our hypothesis is the bigger the surface area in contact with the solution which is the hot water, the faster the time taken for the sugar to dissolve. Okay, so um, is our hypothesis that I stated before can be accepted or not? It is up to you guys to determine as I given the clue which is the time taken and also the sugar. Hello, this is our third experiment. So, uh, the hypothesis of this experiment is uh, the rate of diffusion which is affected by the permeability. Which is have a same temperature and same volume. Okay, the next uh, material is we need a dye. And the last one is oil. Firstly, we're going to put the oil into the water so we can see is it diffused in water or not. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, 
for for the next procedure we will put the dye into the water which is same volume as a uh, oil which has diffused into the, uh, which has put into the water okay one two three okay from the experiment this is our result that we obtain okay first one is oil okay the oil are basically not diffused into the water so while for the dye the dye are completely diffused into the water okay. from this two result is it permeability permeability can affect the diffusion so um, after you guys have heard all two experiments from Aiman, Fami and Brandon so this is the time for the most interesting part the explanation why a such thing happened so for the first experiment the, the diffusion of dye or syrup into the water the hypothesis would be the higher the concentration difference the higher the rate of diffusivity so after we see the time taken for two different dye solution in different concentration being diffused into the water with different concentration as we see we can see that the time taken for each and every concentration different are different the first one we diffuse the dye into a few water and the time taken would be 45 seconds only but after we diffuse the dye into the water with much more higher concentration than pure water the time taken is slightly much more longer which is that we recorded 1 minute and 30 seconds so this proves our hypothesis for today which is the diffusion of dye into the water is affected by the higher concentration difference would be causing the rate of diffusion to be higher okay. for experiment number 2 explanation the hypothesis for experiment number 2 which is the experiment of diffusion of solid which is in this case sugar and icing sugar the hypothesis is the bigger the surface area in contact with the solution the greater the rate of diffusion so just as Brandon did just now, he tried to diffuse different type of sugar into the water and recorded its time. So what do we, we get after the diffusion happened? As we can see, the diffusion rate are different. You see, the time taken for the rock sugar to diffuse has taken much more longer time than the icy sugar tried to diffuse into water. Why would this happen? Because the smaller the size of the sugar, the icing sugar, the rate of diffusion should be higher because the surface area in contact with the solution is slightly greater. Hence, to confirm our theory for today that the bigger the surface area in contact with the solution, the greater the rate of diffusion. Okay, for now, the last part of the experiment, experiment number three, the permeability of the solution. So, as we can see from what Fahmi did, he tried to diffuse oil into the water and to diffuse dye into the water. As we all know that probably the general hypothesis would be the oil cannot diffuse into water and dye will simply diffuse into water. But how do we prove this? Just like Fahmi did just now, he proved to us that oil actually cannot be dissolved into the water and by different but different solution which is dye that he used just now actually diffused completely with the water this is because the permeability of water cannot allow the, the diffusion between oil and water to happen because different polar concentration so the hypothesis for today that has been stated by Fahmi actually can be accepted because the diffusion cannot happen because there are different permeability between solution so as for the conclusion for all the three experiments, we can conclude that all of our experiments is a great success and thank you to all of them because they have doing they have been doing these experiments for such a long time and the extra great measure has been taken to conduct the experiment. And we gonna let it burn, 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 burn. We gonna